Hey guys, today I'm at the Punk Rock Flea Market selling my crystal jewelry at the largest craft fair I've ever done, so I'm really excited to be here as a vendor. This is the view from my booth. The man to the left of me is a woodworker who made these boxes that were really unique to how he carved them. The arena floor alone had over 200 vendors, and then the upstairs hallways had over another 200, and this is the view from the stadium seats. Before it opens to public, I was able to leave my booth and walk around a bit. I was so impressed with people's creativity wherever I looked. And this is my friend Jocelyn's booth, Necronama Charm. Look at this display that she built. It is awesomely evil. And you can find her listings on Etsy. We are in Trenton, New Jersey, and we're at the Punk Rock Flea Market. So you're going to find everything horror-oriented, punk rock, and New Jersey themed. And, of course, everything weird and wonderful, things you won't find any, anywhere else. Handcrafted, of course. This is my booth. Um, I go by Magic and Mayhem, and I sell crystal jewelry made out of beads and large gemstones, large crystals that are wrapped in vegan leather, bracelets, necklaces, rings. I love crystals. I'm just in awe that such treasures grow out of our earth. And I love jewelry, so I'm like, why don't I make crystal jewelry? And I made a bunch of pieces for myself that I was like, I like to wear, and then for friends. Until I ended up with many pieces that I've just been crafting over the past couple of years while at home during the pandemic. So I said, hmm, maybe I should sell some of these. And that's what I'm doing. Really excited to be here. And I would like to be back in future events. They had some musicians there, including Gina Shock, the drummer of the Go-Go's, and Vinny Apice. He was the drummer of Black Sabbath during the Ronnie James Dio years in 1981. He drummed on the album Mob Rules. Then he went on to form Dio, and he drummed on some of my favorite albums, including on the songs Holy Diver, Stand Up and Shout, and Rainbow in the Dark. He was telling me stories about how when he was 16 in 1975, he was in the studio with John Lennon and provided hand claps for the song Whatever Gets You Through the Night. And his Italian mom cooked Lennon a delicious home-cooked meal, and then she asked for the casserole dish back. It was pretty funny. All in all, it was a really fun event, and I'd really like to be at the next one. Thanks so much for watching.